discriminate. Hey, we got a problem. Problem. Oh darn. Well, have a seat, Joey. Everything we solved through humor. Would you like a blueberry muffin? No. <clears throat> so what seems to be the problem? Well, see, I was in my usual spot last night. Except things are a little different. I see nobody's buying. At least not for me, anyways. Well, heavens no. Another deal on our turf? Could have been the Romanos? Yeah, that's what I thought at first. Until I seen a bunch of candy canes come out of the ladies' room. So I peeked in there. I saw a woman dealing in there. What? A lady dealer? No shit. Mm hmm Language, Carlo. Yeah, I mean, I don't know any woman that's working for the Romanos. I mean, I think she was someone new. Somebody else. Did you confront her? No. I'm a man. I can't just be going into the ladies' room. Mate. That, ain't, that ain't right. Yeah, no. You can't just walk into a woman's <laughs> restroom. Yeah. Who knows what's even going on in there? Is there a couch in there? Did you get a good look at her? I mean... It was quick, so I barely remember anything, but she was in her 20s. Tallish. Very Slavic looking, and she had really long features on a tiny, tiny head. <laughs> uh, blonde hair. Out to here. And she looked like she had, a, you know, like lupus or some other auto, autoimmune disease. Oh, my sister's got lupus. She's got to be careful in the sun. Yeah. And I'll never forget her voice. She had the most bizarre accent that I've ever heard in my life. Something from like the 20s or the 30s with a minor British in it, you know. I never met so many new friends. Oh, God. What is that? Yeah. So much nasal. Yeah. And I'm just guessing that, I mean, she's probably pretty neurotic. You know. Paranoid. I'm guessing she, uh, Suffers from amnesia, too. Anything else? Yeah, she seemed, uh, you know, she seemed pretty, uh, temperamental. Joey, thank you for bringing this to my attention. Yeah. You get a sticker. Now go find her. Sure thing, boss.